Hello everyone, my name is Robert Bomar, and I'd like to talk a little bit today about uh, what happened to me. Now I just turned 52 years old November 17th of 2010 of this year. And when I was uh, uh, 23 years old back in 1983, I was shot out in the country with a shotgun as a deer slug boy. So when I was shot, I was way out in the country. So I tell you how good God was. He spared my life. So so I go to one hospital in this small town back in Georgia, and they told me, to, the doctor said, get him out of here. So I had to go like 20 miles or something like that down, down to the another hospital in Dalton, Georgia. So the next thing you knew, the next morning after I survived the shooting, so the doctor came in and he told me, he said, look here, mister, I don't believe in no gods. I don't believe in God. He said, I'm an atheist and I don't believe in nothing. But I'm going to tell you one thing. They was something was with you when you was out there in them woods when you was shot. And I said, well, uh, what do you mean, doctor? And he says, he says, when you got shot in the upper thigh, and uh, when I was while I was dying, I flopped around and uh, poked dirt up in the bullet wound. But the uh, funny thing is, and it really is not funny, it's God. I was laying in a, a dirt spot, and the rest of everywhere for yards and yards was all grass see so God let me fall in a certain spot was pure dirt it was like red Georgia clay as they call it. and I was dying flopping and dying and uh, quivering or whatever you do when you die and it poked dirt up in the wound and packed it and another thing okay the neighbors had been feuding for years and years and so the people that uh, came, and that was another godsend, they was registered nurses, both of them, the wife and the husband. So they was happened to be in town, and they witnessed the shooting. So the they came over and tied a tourniquet also around my leg. See, so that shows you how good God is. But I, later on now, I kept my leg for five months. And then later on, they amputated it. But the point I'm trying to get it at is how good God is. He was there when I got shot. The bullet, bullets and guns will kill you. But anyway, I lost my leg. Now, I've hopped around on crutches most of my life, adult life. But anyway, God spared my life. And he let me get to that doctor, the atheist doctor, and it showed him a thing or two. Because he said, something was with you, Mr. Bomar. Now, I don't believe in God, but something was out there. Something was with you. Now, he, he was really, he looked real pale when he was telling me that. See, so, God let me lose my leg. He spared my life. I lost my leg. I mean, he let me lose it for a purpose. So, I tried to make the best of it out, out of my life. So, that I know there's a lot of people out there that's uh, handicapped. But what you do is you pray to God. And you use the, see, sometimes the devil, he, like when this first happened to me, that devil, boy, he was putting it on me hard, hard and heavy. I was feeling sorry for myself. I was crying all the time, biting my fingernails, nervous, didn't know what to do. But anyway, you turn your life over to God, and he'll take all that, uh, he'll take all the pain and stuff out of your mind that you, you'll forget about it. And that's the point that I'm trying to get across how good God is. He spared my life, even though I lost a leg. And I pretty much changed some people's way of thinking through God using me to do that. So that's why I'm on YouTube saying a few sermons here. I'm not nothing. I'm no big teacher, no big claim to be, no big preacher of the world, none of that. Or no big musician. But every song that I write is for Jesus. And every verse I read out of the Bible is for Jesus. Every time I talk, it's for Jesus. It's like now, even though I'm telling a little story on my life, that is all about Jesus Christ. 
and being repent and being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Now that's what he showed me now. You can research it. Acts 2, 36 through uh, 39 verses. And you can read it now. Now God instructed uh, Peter to do that. See, he knew, just like he knew Peter, he knew everybody else. He knows that what you're going to do, he's God. He knew what I'd do, and he knew, even though I lost my leg, I would still get out there and do something. I will do it, whatever I can do to my ability. And God bless everyone, and I wish you a good, happy Thanksgiving, and God bless everyone out there, and pray for me, and I'll pray for you again. God bless.